that that I'm not able to perfect, then someone must perfect that thing. Huh? This is the way we look at wisdom. When scholars are arguing with each other, they take one word most times, they don't take a whole book. One word is sufficient for them to argue on. If that is not perfect, then all right, he challenges you to prove your work. These are scientists. I don't say I'm one, but I can entertain them. I'm raised up in your midst, which crowns you with glory and happiness. That if you can think of anything in the basic teaching of the resurrection of the dead that I don't understand, I give you $10,000 out of my brother's fish pocket. We must have a man today to teach us that no and not a guess that he has. We're no more going to read our own guesses and theories. Theory is not true until you prove it true. Many of us can have theories. But not all of us can bring our theories to. I hope you have patience with me a little. You did not see this boy here last Sunday. Turn this way. This is the thing I'm going after now. At the root of the signs and of the make, we must go at the root to prove today that the all wise, the best know, is with us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Farad is the name used by the God of the last opening up the kingdom of heaven to you and me. The, the name for God is a name outside of the name the oh, pardon me, outside of the 100 attributes of God. Yes, sir. It's an extra name to itself. The Bible give it to you like this. He had a name written up and down his side that no man knew but he himself. <laughs> well, all of this is understood now. God has taught me there is nothing of the Bible, nothing else of the Quran that is yet to be misunderstood. It's understood today. This is the little part that God has made all that secret known to, and I don't say I'm guessing at anything. It's all what God has given me. And if you take it and tell it to the scientists of this world, if you can find one that can dispute with me on one word I'm telling you, I will give you $10,000 out of my brother's <laughs> You should be happy if you know that these are truths that's been buried 
from your ears all your life and all your parents' life. This is the first time that you ever heard this. And they are true. I don't say that I tell you because I don't think you ever read nothing about it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No, you read about it, but you were not unable, pardon me, you were unable to understand what you read. I say <clears throat> to you, you should come out and listen to truth and stop listening to guesses. The Bible has been taught to you through people that guessed at it. Not know the truth, but guessed at the truth. Well, it's time to give that fellow the truth and stop him from guessing at it. The Bible teaches you in the beginning God made heaven and the earth. Right? That is true. In the beginning. But when was the beginning? You say in the beginning. When was that beginning? And how did he make that minority? See, we must know the truth of these things. And if the truth does not compare with what you see and what you hear, then you don't have the truth. So I don't run from you when I teach. You can question me all you want. To. No, because I have your answer. God has given to me. Not me, myself. He gave it to me. To give to you. And if you use it, lucky are you. We see here, on this point before our eyes, two flags. And we see under one flag here a cross and a man hanging on a tree. All of this you know to be true. I thought I'd wait until you go over this cross, find me over this drawings a little bit as I'm coming into it to teach you the understanding of it. Here on this board, you'll see the flag of America, and you'll see the flag of Islam. In the flag of America here, you see the signs that they use for their religion. You see red, white, and blue as colors. Over here you see white and red on it. These are very <clears throat> good teachings that you should know. In the between the two flags, you have these words written. Which one will survive the war of Armageddon? When will that be? It's on now. The Armageddon is on now. Did you will not be hearing the truth of these things. The truth is only to come when the falsehood has failed. As long as falsehood can rule, it remains. Like night. As long as the night can rule, you won't see no day. So we use all of these signs and truth teachings that we contend with each other daily. Now between here we have written, 
which one will survive the war of Armageddon? Why is Armageddon war? There's a war that clashes with falsehood. Truth clashes falsehood and falsehood clashes truth. Falsehood will try to continue to rule and truth must overcome it and cast it out. 